Hey everybody, Agent Payne in here. Uh, I wanted to go over my rifle build with you guys. Um, it's a seasonal kind of build because the damage it does is based off of the seasonal modifiers. But I'll go over the modifiers I use. I'll go over the equipment I use. I'll show you some of the range damage. And uh, you may or not may or may not like it, but it's cool. I've had I'll have I've had more fun with this build uh, in than I've had in this game in quite a while. Like it's just a lot of fun because I mean you're just a war you're just a killing machine and you're gonna see like it's it's disgusting now it is I will warn you it is paper thin this build is a your ass is out in the wind you better be wearing a reviver hive kind of build but you are going to have a blast with it I've ran it in countdown I've ran it uh, in heroics. I've ran it in legendaries. I ran this build in a legendary with a group and did not go down at all. And so it's because it's destroying faces. And so you'll see. And uh, I'm going to show you right now. Get ready. Here we go. It's pretty simple. It's actually not a lot of complicated stuff. So um, essentially, I'm using the Demolitionist spec. Uh, I am using the Harmony. Um, I have my Harmony rifle maxed out. Uh, you see it's setting at 378,000 damage, 360 RPMs. Um, it is fully automatic now since the update. I've got damage to target out of cover on it. And it's pretty solid piece. I'm also using the test subject. Um, both of these guns have the same uh, talent on them. It's perfectly in sync. Hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for 5 seconds. Using a non-shield skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. Damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. So if you have a drone out and you're shooting uh, at the same time, you're getting 40% more weapon damage and 40% more skill damage. Both of these weapons have that talent on them. Um, I'm using... A Walker and Harris mask with weapon for the weapon damage. You'll see I've got it rolled all weapon damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, crit hit damage. If you're going to favor heavy one or the other, favor uh, damage, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Favor damage over chance because your chance isn't going to matter. You're going to stack it up later on, but I'm going to show you that. Um, so the next piece I have is the sacrifice chest piece, which is. Um, the Providence Defense piece, you get headshot damage with that one. Uh, I've got headshot damage on this one and then critical hit damage. Perfect glass cannon is the talent. All damage you deal is amplified by 30%. All damage you take is amplified by 60%. For the holster, I'm using the new Centurion Scabbard. Uh, it has weapon handling crit chance. Swapping weapons will give you the following groups of bonuses one by one in order. 20% rate of fire, 20% weapon damage. There's an extra 20% weapon damage right there, so already you're up at 60. Um, 50% magazine size and reload speed. Uh, rate of fire goes up as well. So this bonus remains active for 12 seconds or until the next weapon swap. Swapping your sidearm will not trigger the next group of bonuses. This holster is really cool. It's a quick an easy way to go rate of fire, weapon damage, magazine size, reload speed. Just bounce back and forth between two good weapons and you've got it made. And then on this piece, I have the low lens carrier, the Zuya Dalka. Um, magazine size, rifle, da rifle damage plus 20%. So what's that put us at right now? 80%. 85 with the Walker Harris, so we're 85% weapon damage right now. Um, and then you've got weapon damage there. You've got crit hit chance crit hit damage since you can't have crit hit damage twice on a piece if that one just has to have chance otherwise i've just put crit, more crit damage um, it has vigilance on it vigilance is increases total weapon damage by 25 percent take a damage disables this buff for four seconds so you either have that one or you don't but in a pinch if if you gotta like save your ass or if you're you're hold back and you're just cover fire it works out great an extra 25 percent there so what does that put us at we were at 85 so is what we're 110 now so yeah 110 percent weapon damage roughly um i have two pieces of that i have the uh the gloves uh for the zuidalka uh you can mitch mash if you want these pieces um however you want to do that but yeah you this is how I have it set up. So obviously it's a little flexible, however you want to set it up. As long as you have two pieces of these and the Walker Harris and the perfect glass cannon. So yeah, you can, you can interchange it a little bit. Now the last piece is Fox Prayers knee pads. 
I have uh, on that one, uh, you know, it comes with damage target out of cover. It has crit, crit hit damage on it. And then you get another 10% rifle damage on top of that. So that's the build. I'm going to show you the um, modifiers now. Okay, so the seasonal modifier is point blank. You can activate it or deactivate it. You're going to want to have it activated for this build. Um, the active modifier, you're going to choose all out. When activated, you will have 10 seconds to eliminate an enemy in any range zone. The zone that enemy was killed in will now count for the full range spectrum. But this effect will slowly decrease. All right, so what's going to happen is uh, you've got this short range pat modifier, which is liability. You deal 30% more damage to armored enemies within short range. The damage received from armored targets is increased by 15%. So again, you remember I said paper thin, right? So you're getting 60% amplified damage from the glass can, perfect glass cannon, and now you're getting another 15% damage on top of that from this. So this is the glassiest of glass cannons in the game right now. And then uh, retribution, you're going to go... Uh, Shooting enemies inside medium range builds up to 100 stacks. For every stack you gain, 0.5% critical hit damage. Lose one stack for every bullet fired after reaching 100 stacks. So, remember I said don't max out your crit hit that or your crit damage or your crit chance. I'm sorry, don't max your crit chance. This is why because when you're shooting, you're going to be building crit chance. You're pretty much going to be at 60 all the time. It doesn't matter. You're just going to be there all the time. So low, you know, the build has low crit chance, but it, it maxes out in the end. It all comes out in the wash. Last modifier is by the teeth. Uh, its effective range is long range, so you're going to be using this one. Is going to come in handy more for the harmony. But, you know, if you activate all out and this is what you get, this is what you get with your close-up weapon as well. So um, each shot to an enemy's body increases damage up to 2.5 times. The multiplier grows by 0.5% with each shot and any registered headshot will reset it. The bonus can be stacked on different enemies. Shooting an enemy outside long range resets the stack. So basically, uh, if you're shooting with the Harmony and they're in long range, you're just shredding them up. And then if you activate all out and you kill somebody close to you, you're going to bump up another 30% damage and they won't even be able to get, nobody's going to be able to step up, even get close. So to reiterate, let's just go through the names here. All out is going to be your active modifier. Uh, you're going to use liability, you're going to use retribution, and you're going to use by the teeth. And if you want to switch those out or play around with those, that's cool too. I mean, th I'm not saying this build is the end-all, be-all of this stuff. I'm just saying this is what I've been using, and I'm having fun with it. If you find another way to make it better, let me know, and I might be using what you're using. That's 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 the way this thing works, man. So anyhow, um, I hope you guys like the build. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is probably the longest, most detailed build video I've ever done. And uh, I appreciate you coming and visiting. Thank you. And y'all have a good day.